And I think it's basically getting it into people's minds that actions have consequences. And that's yeah. a benefit and a con as well. Which we just, just mm -hmm. Every single thing that we do either attracts or adds towards our health. And as we age, mm -hmm. naturally our body is degrading. So of course we're fighting against that. But every action that we choose within our life, it simply has effect short term and long term. We have to choose what we want yeah. to add into our life and what we want to take away from our life. Welcome to Dad Bod Fitness. If you and I are just meeting, my name is David and I help crazy busy moms and dads to be able to build a physique. If you want to maximize your muscle growth, you want to strip the body fat and then transform your life even while still managing your family, consider subscribing. So today I want to introduce you once more to Justin Van Vliet. He runs the Instagram page Metabolic Nutritionist and he's also got a channel here on YouTube, Justin Van Vliet. All of the links to his pages and his information will all be linked down below. I would highly recommend checking out his stuff. He's got some phenomenal information out there. So once again, here is Justin, AKA the Metabolic Nutritionist and myself addressing how to handle nutrition when you're in the chaotic parenting stage. So for me, the big three for health is sleep, nutrition, and moving. So good movement, good working out, preferably lifting weights, lifting heavy things. For eating and for moving, I think there's a big misconception for a lot of people to say it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of effort to do these right. things as well. Uh, so I'm curious to see how it works in a family because when you're just eating for yourself or for yourself mm -hmm. and one other person, it's much easier to do things such as meal prep. You are not necessarily too picky if you're saying, well, my diet, my nutrition, my health is my priority. Some things you're gonna automatically leave out, but that might be harder when you are surrounded by foods that you don't necessarily want to eat. Um, so how yeah. does that work out with food if you have kids in the home? My wife and I are in a fortunate spot that we've kind of set the groundwork. I had a, let's see, three-year-old and a one-year-old at the point where I really made a mental shift, started to track, actually track nutrition, where I started, you know, purposely making healthy choices. So we really have kind of brought our kids up liking, you know, trying to help them to learn and understand and enjoy those foods that are best for them, which for us is really, you know, majority whole foods. I eat ice cream. I eat pizza, you know, I still eat the fun foods, but I, I really stick to like trying to be like around somewhere between 70 to 90% whole food. And then I'll fill the rest in with, with whatever. But having that ability then kind of sets the stage that we don't have a ton of junk around the house. What I find helps people the most is when you can come to the point of just understanding your energy balance. A lot of people have great difficulty with being overly restrictive. So if you, you just say you can never have that, that's going to really cause you to want it even more. I find understanding your energy balance and learning what's about four to five ounces of chicken breast look like, what's about, you know, a cup of rice look like. But for people who don't enjoy that, just doing it for like two weeks, if you track your nutrition for two weeks, just understand, don't even like specifically cut things out, just track what you eat, just to get a sense of portion sizes, what that equates to calorie wise, and then seeing what your weight does will make a, a, a dramatic impact in your ability to then assess nutrition on the fly, so eat more intuitively. If you are enjoying this video, would you please tap that like button? It would mean the world to me and it would help get these videos out to the people that need this information. Also, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss the upcoming videos. It's also really just making a choice to drink more water, which will reduce those cravings. Even when mm -hmm. things are around, I find if I have something to drink, I'm gonna be that much less likely to go pull the, the Doritos off the shelf, shelf or, or snack on whatever my kids are snacking on at the moment. For me, I think that's that's made a huge impact. And here's another little tip. If you want to cut back on the, the junk food that you are eating, but you're finding it difficult, the whole thing is don't don't buy it when you go to the store, which I know everyone says, right? But if you want it, don't say no. Don't say no, you can't get it. Tell yourself, if I want it, I'll drive to the store and go buy it. I'm an adult. <laughs> I'll go buy like a single serving or two, like if I want some chips. But yeah, really setting up the times where you can have those foods so that you don't feel like you're deprived. I created a habit where I eat probably optimally three quarters of the day because I'm I'm out, I'm at work, I'm going to and from. So it's easy for me to know that I've got to feed myself the best that I can. When I get home at night, that's, that's you know, nighttime is when people want a snack. I cal calorically leave enough space for myself at the end of the day where I know that if I'm really craving something, I can decide whether or not I want to have that. And it's not going to impact me as ter in terms of, you know, additional body fat. I'll, I'll feel it potentially the next day and the days after if it was something really crappy that I ate. So, and then that can then start to help you have that positive reinforcement of, 
okay, I felt good when I ate this and I felt crappy when I ate that. And it's all these little small changes that will then help you build and say, okay, well, that's why I don't want to eat those things. Finding those times that you can be free to grab what you want so that you can fit it into your calories, you can fit it into your macros if you want. We have family nights where those nights, I know, you know, it might be at the end of the week, we're gonna have pizza, we're gonna have ice cream, I'm just gonna plan ahead and it's something to look forward to and then I don't have to feel like I'm deprived because I know something really awesome is coming. That's some really good advice there. And I think it's basically getting it into people's minds that actions have consequences and that's yeah. a benefit and a con as well. Which we just, just mm -hmm. Every single thing that we do either tracks or adds towards our health. And as we age, mm -hmm. naturally our body is degrading. So of course we're fighting against that. But every action that we choose within our life, it simply has effect short-term and long-term. We have to choose what we want to add into our life and what we want to take away from our life. And would you tap that like button and also hit the subscribe so you don't miss any of the future content coming up. If you enjoyed that video and you're looking for the next step, I would move to one of these two videos here. And as always, be intentional, bring the intensity and I cannot wait to see you on the next video.